Expressions and Variables. For this video you will need to have Python 3 installed on your computer. You will also need to run the program called Idle which is installed as part of Python. When you run up Idle you should see a window like this. This is called a Python shell or console. You can type in commands and Python will run them. For example you can type in simple calculations. If you type in 2 plus 2 and hit return, Python will print the answer, which of course is 4. You can type in any simple calculation. If you want to do a subtraction, use a minus symbol. If you want to multiply, use an asterisk or star character. To divide, use the forward slash character. These are the four basic arithmetic operations. If you need to change the order of the calculations, use brackets, just like you would in normal arithmetic. In Python, something like 2 plus 2 is called an expression. When Python works out the answer, we say it is evaluating the expression. Programmers often need to count things. The number of pages in a document or the number of times we want to print it. For this, we use whole numbers or integers. Adding, subtracting and multiplying integers works fine. If we add two integers, we get another integer. Same if we subtract two integers or multiply two integers, the result is always an integer. If we divide two integers, we might get a fraction. So Python allows us to do integer division. This works just like the division you were taught in primary school. If you have seven sweets and you share them between three children, then they get two sweets each with one sweet left over. We say that 7 divided by 3 is 2 remainder 1. Python uses two slash characters to represent integer divide. We call it floored divide because it gives the nearest integer below the fractional answer. With floored division, 7 divided by 3 is 2. 6 divided by 3 is also 2 because the fractional answer is the same as the integer answer. We use a percent character to find the modulus or remainder. A variable is used by Python to store a value. You can think of it a bit like a box. You put the value in the box and then later you can look in the box to see what it contains. Here is how you would store the value 3 in a variable called x. To find out what is in the box you can print the value of x just like this. You can use a variable in an expression. Here we set the variable a to 1. Then we set a to be a plus 3. The variable a now contains 4. Now instead we could set the variable a to 5. Again we set a to be a plus 3. The variable now contains 8. Python can also store text data called strings. You just include the text within single quote characters or double quotes if you prefer. You can store a string in a variable and you can print it out. You can add two strings which basically just joins them together. You can also multiply a string by an integer which creates copies of the string. So we have seen three different types of data. Ints are whole numbers with no decimal point. Numbers with a decimal point are called floats which is short for floating point numbers. Any number with a decimal point is a float even if it's a whole number like 2.0. Strings contain text data. You can find what type of value is using the type function. It returns a value which tells you if the data is an int, float or string. So we've learnt about numbers, variables and expressions in Python and also a little bit about strings. Be sure to visit schoolcoders.com to learn more.